level 2 loot scroll. Uh, some horse buff here that we don't really need to use. But we, we're using them anyway. Um, Kama, Kama Lightstone. Crystals. Add-ons. Uh, pets, I guess. Um, oh yeah, Elixir buffs. Uh, Okay, now now we're gonna do it the right way. The right way. This is the right way. All right, and we don't have any trash from before. I deleted that. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my fucking god! So th this is how I know that we do an hour. It is like yeah, we we get this tent buff. So that that's one way to know. The the second way to know that we done an hour is. Um, it is with the buffs. So now, now everything should be perfectly splendid, and we should be able to uh, obliterate the monsters. What are you guys up to? Wonder if it's even worth to uh, to debuff that way. Uh, probably not. I'm, I'm just gonna use this. Um, the, the SLMB for debuffing, and then um, I, I don't need to care about uh, using the Salpuri because you, you have to go back into Salpuri again, and uh, that's just kind of annoying. For a moment there, I thought this might be an underground horse training stream. <laughs> no. No, we, we're not gonna have that much fun. Maybe, maybe sometime, but... You're stopping on about to make coffee, grind pillars, nice. Yeah, I heard pillars were uh, amazing money. Some, some people talking about like 1.5 billion per hour. Check Arsha, see if pillars open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is uh, is Arsha still very um, PvP? Wait, do do you play on EU? I am a little bit surprised how fast these um, how fast they die actually, with, with the awakening alarm. I, I thought it'd be a little bit slower. Working from home. Hmm. Training your second Pegasus. Ah, nice. Second Pegasus. Pegasus. Oh. Get it. Get it. Yeah, kill it. Is more AP the better yeah yeah they did increase the AP here uh, on, on the cap and everything but I I think they also increased uh, a little bit on on the like HP but I I don't know if they're trying to compensate or if they I don't know what they're trying to do to be honest succession line seems way faster yeah, we, we're gonna take a look at that too. 
So after this hour, we're gonna play Succession Land and, and do the same thing. It's not, it's not a surprise that the Succession Land is a lot better than the Awakening. It's always been that way. <clears throat> You're on NA? Ah, yeah. So you, you guys usually get a little bit more PvP than uh, than we do on EU. Star Sand... Um, I mean, you can, you can literally chill at uh, most of the Arsh uh, servers. Yeah, just go in there and grind. Hello, Sambai. How you doing, buddy? Did they... Uh, huh? They did this? They did this? So season character can no longer grind there? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a valid uh, reason. But, but why though? But like why? They they don't want, they they don't want people to to get exp fast. Uh, I mean they they just they just make a season character and they they play on a regular, and then then they just ask someone to get boosted. <laughs> I I don't know. It's like it's it's understandable that they that that they want to try to like balance the game now after they uh, buffed all of the classes in the game, because it it kind of created this um, game breaking uh, game, you know, like like the classes are way too overtuned. So that's understandable, but I I thought I thought that they were gonna make this a lot harder to be honest. So you so you don't really kill them in the, before the mechanic. Now, if if you play Awaken Elan, may, maybe you're on the edge of that because they they just they just activating right. Uh, but if you play some of these other classes, like I don't know which, so you play play a witch, you're gonna be killing these guys way before they even start uh, moving. So then you you kind of question you like you question the game like is it supposed to be that way? You're not really playing the game, like... <laughs> I, I don't know. With the BSR I can kill them uh, while they don't even finish the stand-up animation. Oh. Yeah, so usually I don't play with BSR because I, I, I don't like BSR skills. I, I would only use them in Node War and Siege and stuff, but... the same they changed the debo spot so you uh, not go in there and and witch and farm on season should be hard spots and not killable with the season character yeah but they uh, i mean that that is one way to look at it but but also this is another way to look at it too because because of the thing that i just said right they they buffed all of the classes so much and and even even with the add-on revamp and everything, that that they kind of have to go back and change a lot of the, um, you know, of the the core uh, core monster grinds like how how hard it is to do something or how easy it is to do something. They they have to change all of that too. Otherwise, it's just like everyone's just gonna one shot array through everything, and that that's not that's not that much fun, right? Yeah, I, I talked about this many, many times, and uh, you know they, they're gonna have to change a lot of the grind spots when it comes to um, that. Like they're gonna have to increase the HP on the monsters or whatever, or, or like the general tankiness of them. Or they, they just have to do that.
But uh, yeah, most likely it's gonna happen in popular grind spots like Gaifen, for example. Uh, Gaifen is very good money and good EXP, so like everyone is grinding here anyway. Uh, so they, they change in this spot, they change in Debo spots because Debo spots is like the future of grind. Um, so that, like it's already happening, like it's already being normalized. Um, and then most likely future content, like future end game content. That, that's the things that they're gonna try to make a little bit harder. But when, when it comes to like grind spots that are already... Uh, you know, mid-game or early gameplay, they most likely is gonna leave them like that. They, they're not gonna go back and change Orc. A at least I wouldn't... I wouldn't think so. <laughs> when, when it comes to, like, mid-game and early gameplay, it's uh, classes... players. They, they're gonna fly through it. Because of that reason. Oh, Tangrad. We needed a spot that is crazy difficult but should be insane silver also. Yes. So I, I'm a big pro of this, like when, when it comes to MMOs. You should have all kind of variety of grind spots. Difficulty levels, uh, even in the way that you do them, right? Everything shouldn't just be easy. And, and that is something that BDO, PA are trying to do. They just want everything to be super easy. Um, but, but that's not really a good thing. <clears throat> you you want to have some, some easy stuff and you want to have some, uh, some hard things. Me mediocre stuff, you know. People are um, incentivized to, to get certain gear. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> and it is something that B PA has been like finally doing the right way recently. It is because they do actually want to make the, um, the, the, the higher gear score grind spots more money per hour. That, that's something that they recently wanted to start doing again. Uh, ever since 2019, when when history I was um, end game and the most money per hour. Uh, ever since 2019, it hasn't been that way. It's like 2020, early star send. That, that was like the Gamba region, but then it, uh, you could go to Sukraya, and and it was the same thing. Uh, but then like after that, like 2021 maybe, it's like everything was just random. It's like you, uh, you go back to Orc, you do, um, I don't know, you, you do Kratuga, you do Centaur, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, as an end game player, that's not really that good. You, you need to be incentivized, just like you say, to, uh, to keep on grinding, to have goals, to want to do the new content, to, to do the end game. And, and that is what you should, um, you should get the most from. So you don't go back to like Histria. Yeah, Histria was amazing. <laughs> yeah, Histria, I, I grinded many hours. But I, I don't necessarily like. I mean, I, I think it's fine if I go back there right now. And it, the, the, the bad thing is if it, if it incentivizes me to do that. That, that's the bad thing. Like, I, I find it worth to go back there and grind. That, that's the bad thing. Uh, obviously, right now, it doesn't do that, because we have places in BDO we can grind for several billions per hour. So, obviously, history is not incentivizing me to go back to history. <laughs> but uh, there's been a few times when, uh, when it was... For sure. Yeah, we we see how they um, how they manage to balance PVE after all of the uh, the changes, right? 
I think it's gonna be a very tough job to do that. In, in my opinion, it was already very close, like it already had very good balancing before they changed a lot of classes. They only needed to nerf like two free classes and buff like five of them, and and that, and then it would, would have been glorious balanced, and and they wouldn't even need to change that many grind spots or anything. But but now because they uh, because they buffed so many classes and they put in so much like random numbers into everything that, I mean they they're gonna have to change a lot of uh, grind spots. They they're gonna have to change um, black shrine and. I hope that history and Akman uh, Lantern is gonna be amazing. I hope it's gonna be very fun and and also rewarding and and a little bit difficult. Not not just like not just like go there and and never die if you play like a witch or whatever. But, but that is also a part of the balancing. Some classes never die, some classes die all the time. How, how do you, uh, how do you, like, you're gonna have to change the class, right? You can't change the grind spot to be like, oh, you do more damage on a, on a Vusa or something, or you, you do more damage on a Valkyrie, like, that doesn't make any sense. You, you have to change the class, like... It's either that the one class is too tanky, or the other class uh, just doesn't get hit, or it's that the other class is like way too squishy. Or, or it doesn't have like HP, HP on hit or whatever, whatever. It's, uh, it's always one of the other. Isria was unique because of the mob pulling, yeah, in in the early days, yeah, uh, but then eventually people got so much AP and, and eventually PA buffed the classes so much that uh, you're, you're literally just like one-shotting your way through all of the Hysteria monsters, which is like the thing that is expected, right? Uh, but the thing that is not expected is, um, is that you go back there when you have endgame gear. It's like when, when you have endgame gear, you'd be like, oh, let's go to history. <laughs> you, you shouldn't feel like, you shouldn't feel like that's a thing uh, that, that you want to do. So that, that's the issue when it comes to, when it comes to that. Otherwise, it makes sense, like, you, you gear up, you get more gear, you become stronger, eventually you are gonna obliterate the monsters, right? But, but at that point, it shouldn't really be like you shouldn't really be around that, that grindstone anymore. It's like way too easy. Um, in in all of the other MMO games, they they usually don't allow you to keep on grinding the the old grind spots. That like you you get way too high level or something. They they don't let you grind there. You don't gain anything. And and usually with most of the other MMOs, your level. It is directly um, uh, making you stronger, right? Yeah, me too. I, I liked Histria because it was very technical. It's like you, you had to pull them in the right way, you had to do all of these stuff to... Um, and, and if you did that, it was like a remarkable change in... Um, and in how, like, the, the efficiency of it. So that, that was why I liked it too, back in those days. But yeah, if, if I were to go history right now, I would do uh, three rooms and I, I would just randomly kill all of the monsters. You know, back, back attack or not. <laughs> just, just kill them. Oh no, that guy is not gonna like do for spot or anything, right?
It feels okay though, it feels okay. I, I know that you can kill these guys like a lot faster, but it, it feels okay. I I also have crazy gear, so that, that's why it feels okay. I, I don't wanna generalize here and say that it's okay if you if if you just hit the bare requirements, uh, that, that's gonna be way different if you just hit the bare requirement. But if if you can cap out and everything, it uh, this this feels okay. Like you can do it, you can enjoy it, you can play it, right? But um, if you were to compare, like, I mean, this guy would already be dead right now. Hello, hacker. Uh, when uh, when you will uh, video with the visa succession for PvP? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. Visa succession for PvP. I I will go back on Vusa after I'm done with the with the uh, with the LAN videos and the LAN guide and everything. But both of them I need to make ultimate guides for both of them. So after, after I'm done with that, I go back on Vusa again and do the same thing on Vusa. But um, mo most likely I'm not gonna PvP on the Vusa. So um, I, I get, I, I'm gonna respond uh, never. I, I think it would be cool to go back to PvP one day, but uh, PA's gotta PA's gotta want me to go back to PvP one day. You know, it, it doesn't help when uh, when they write that they don't know how to fix PvP. It, it doesn't help when uh, when most of the changes that they have done have kind of destroyed PvP. It, it doesn't help that. Um, I don't at, at, at least they're trying to do PV, PvE better. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I, I would love to go back to PvP, but it's like, ugh, I don't know. We will see. I, I hope to play BDO for a long time. I, I already been playing this game for five years. I, I hope to play it for at least another, like, four or five years. Uh, but... You know, everything depends on how PA does it. Everything depends on if if they make the game quality better or worse. It's very it's very simple that way. Hello, Lafaya. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I, I hope for many things, and I've been I've been waiting for PvP uh, stuff for a long time, and. It is very simple things that I want, but it is just, you know, like things, um, I, I don't expect them to fix the, the lag or desync. That, that's why I say, like, it's very simple things that I want. I, I just want them to add some stuff. <laughs> like, like, just add some, some new things to Node War and Siege, like, it's just all the same all the time. So you change it up a little bit. They're gonna change the structure of it right now, but that was not what I meant. Like I, I, I don't. I, th I think this current structure is fine. That there's nothing wrong with the current structure of Node War. But but the thing that is very boring and very consistent is that it's all the same thing every single time. That like give us a new structure, give us new tools, give us new strategies. You give us new landscapes to fight on. You give us new um, objectives in Node War. You know? You give us these stuff. <laughs> it's, it's not too much to demand for. Uh, at least I don't think so. It, it doesn't have to be like perfectly balanced. It, it just has to be balanced. Uh, but, you know, as they, they're kind of struggling with that even now when they don't give us more stuff. I, I don't know. 
Uh, anyway. PvE is kind of cool. I can I can break mechanics uh, at at the black shrine. I, I kill the bosses before they can do the uh, the, the skills. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Yeah. So like I I used to be a big fan in PvP. I used to like do PvP for years and years and years and I uh, of course you get bored of it if if nothing changes then you get bored of it right. So I, I'm not saying that a new player can't enjoy PvP, most likely they can, but if if they play PvP for like half a year, it's gonna it's gonna be the same thing for those people too. It's gonna be like, oh placing the fort at the same place now I guess. Uh, same strategy as the last time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fighting the same people as the last time, doing everything the same thing as the last time. PvE game now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a PvE game mainly forever, uh, but um, PvP used to be way better, in my opinion. PvP used to be way better. And uh, there were some issues with it back in the days too, but, but it used to be way better. Uh, there's no there's no arguing that. There is just the, the game was a little bit slower equals less desync. It, it was still desync-y, but it was less of that shit, less lag. Um, I, I I guess you even had less crashes. It seems like we're crashing more nowadays, but for whatever reason, ever since they ever since they started talking about it, we I've been starting crashing more. So I, I don't I don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, the, the fact that people's gear mattered a little bit more back in the days, that was actually good for PvP, believe it or not. And the fact that everyone wasn't one-shotting everyone all the time, that, that was very good for PvP. So, for many reasons like that, it, like PvP used to be way better. There were always like some class or you know at some point they released like a new class or whatever that that were like extremely broken and everything but th that was that nowadays we have like 10 of them oh yeah you go play 10 classes because uh, but you only choose the four of them because then maybe you can survive four skills I can I can link you the playlist after the hour, okay? If you remind me. So I'm I'm trying to record a video right now, so we will see how much uh, trash we can get here. If if you don't like to wait, you can you can YouTube uh, Synthwave, and it's the one that has like the MCA free. Um, uh, two hour retro wave uh, synth by Becky. So that, that's the one that you can look for on, on YouTube. I, if you don't want to wait, yeah. You're doing good, uh, Lafaya? Nice. Me too, me too. I'm doing very good. I, I've been editing the, uh, the Gamba video. And uh, most likely, I will have it done by Thursday. It, it happens to be a 15 minute uh, long video, so that, that's why it's taking a little bit of time to, uh, to edit. And I, I want to make it as good as I can and, and as much fun as I can. And... See, so, yeah, on, on Thursday, we, we get the third episode of uh, Gamba to Gamba. That, that is something to look forward to. Oh, that's a, that's a weird uh, spawn right there. I 
Yeah, I've been I've been falling behind a little bit when it comes to YouTube stuff, but um, it's also been holidays and we we had good times. Uh, we we've been chilling. Awakening the land is pretty cool, I think. It, it is very cool. The the only sad thing is that it's not that good. <laughs> and. It's almost never been uh, good, except for when it got released. There were one other moment in time, if you if you played like a god, you, you could be close to succession land numbers. But but you had to play like a god. It's not really it's not really expected uh, to, to do that all the time. But yeah, Awakening Land looks cool, it feels good, like it is so cool. But efficiency-wise, it's never been, um, except for the in the beginning, it's never been like that good. In in comparison to the other classes, uh, th that's a new way that I like to compare the game. It is uh, you have two ways of comparison. You can compare with other classes, and Awaken Elan is gonna be totally garbage. Uh, but you can also compare with the state of the game. You know, being able to do the content in the game. And uh, if we compare it that way, uh, LAN is very good. Like, like, it's okay. It's good. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's not very good. It's just good. Like, like you, can, you can do the content in the game if you want to, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, there is a reason why I like to compare it, c compare it that way, because it, it used to not be that good. It used to not be able to do the uh, end game content in the game. And, and that's why I think it's important to mention that. A at least nowadays, if you love this class, you can play it. So tanky, yeah. No, it's it's very squishy. Even the succession is very squishy. But but that was that was not really what I meant. I meant like DPS output too. Uh, squishiness is another thing uh, that that should also be taken into account. Uh, because you can die many times even on the succession. Like succession is very good grinding, but you can still die a lot of times. And you know how how good is it really if you keep on dying all the time? Uh, like, like, let's say that you die one time every day, like how good is it really, y you know? Some some of the classes, they, uh, they don't die. Mm, I forgot which one um, is gonna attack this guy. You main awaken alone since the start of the game, I never give up hope. <laughs> yeah, I I played it like the Awaken Elan got me into BDO. So I, I started playing BDO in 2018 when uh, when, when the LAN uh, got out, you know. So that that was my introduction to BDO and my first class and that that was at the real release of the class and Uh, recently though, like in, in 2023, I've been trying out different classes for PvE. But, but mainly I've been playing LAN anyway. But, but more, the, uh, more the succession than the awakening. For, for PvP, I started trying out different classes um, a, a long time ago because I couldn't play this is kind of how it goes now. I don't see which buff I got. Uh, this is kind of how it goes. If the class is not good enough, you start playing other classes. Or you stop playing the game. So the, depending on what you want to do, right? If you want a node war, if you want a PvP, if you want a GVG, or if you want an AOS, or if you want to grind. It, it does have to be good enough. Otherwise, like that's one of the criteria. It's not the only criteria, but it is one of the criteria of... Um, Having a good uh, time. 
because if, if you can't do the content like you can't like you keep on dying all the time or it, it's just it's just um, boring you, you don't get anywhere you know huh is that a pro wait why is that a code interesting I can check on that later. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, they they still have to balance the game though. Like like the the only thing that they did was uh, changing a lot of classes, but they uh, they haven't balanced anything. And, and now they now they're going into PvP changes, which means that we're gonna have to wait a long time before they do anything with PVE stuff again. So if you know, you, you better buckle up, chat. You go go play that Awakening Witch because it's gonna be broken for a long time. I do actually want to try Awakening Witch. So uh, after after the LAN uh, guides and everything, I I do actually want to try it out. And it's good for the stream. It's good for me. I haven't played that. It's one of the few classes I haven't played. Um, and it, it happens to be uh, very 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 good and very easy, which is also good for me. As, as a streamer, it, it is good that it's easy. You, you don't want to play a hard class if you're if you're a streamer. So then you you don't you, you can't interact with the viewers. It's like nah, I just need to focus on my skills here. Like, <laughs> right? So, uh, question chat. Do, do you guys know how much people get nowadays in um, Gaifen? What was the was the new meta number for for uh, yellow? Thousand, damn. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think we we're gonna get those numbers, but yeah, we can we can see if we get those numbers. Damn. Oh my god, there's so much, so much trash. You didn't go there for a while. Mm, yeah. Same. I haven't been here in, uh, I don't know, uh, three, three weeks? How is Awakening the Land compared to Succession PvE-wise? Um, in, in, like, if, if you can cap out, they are closer to each other. If you can cap out uh, AP. But, but then the Succession is a slightly little bit better, either way. Uh, except for maybe like in a few grind spots, um, so that that kind of depends a little bit. But but when when speaking about if you can't cap out, if you're doing end game content or something, the succession LAN is a lot better. It it does a lot more damage. That that's why. Is 
yeah i think i think now when we do uh when we do the test here in gaifen because i'm capping out on both of uh, both of the lands you know i i think i'm gonna be seeing uh, uh like the the same numbers really i i think succession land i'm gonna get maybe two thousand more maybe uh, that's that's what i predict but i i don't know we will see we will see what is gonna happen That's so sad, I really like the Awakening Land. Yeah, yeah. You're mid-game? Yeah. So if, if you play mid-game, Succession should be better because you're not capping out. Um... But yeah, I, I agree with you. Awakening Land is a lot cooler than the Succession, and most people think so. There is a few people that like the Succession Land a little bit more than the Awakening but, but I think that's because of the game style. That like that you don't need to do that many things, right? But but even the succession have changed a little bit ever since the add-on revamp and so it's a little bit faster nowadays the succession. So you do kinda have to do at least one or two more things. <laughs> so it, it shouldn't be that big of a difference between the succession and it, there there is still like a little bit of a difference when it comes to like how you have to play it but it's, it's hard to describe as a LAN player to be honest there is a difference but not really because it's like a LAN you know like it feels like a LAN it does LAN things like it feels the same it's just different skills you know that's why that's why it's hard to explain like If you like it, just play it. Exactly. So uh, that, that's why I had to say that before when I tried to explain it. It's like you, you can play the content nowadays in, in Endgame and everything. Like playing the Awakening Elan, you can do that. And if you really love the class, that, that's what you should do, right? And uh, the reason why I mentioned that was because before all of these buffs and everything, you weren't able to do that. So I, I would never recommend anyone, not, not even if you liked it, to to play it in Endgame, because you you wouldn't you you would have to be like you would have to love to hurt yourself to to play the class, and and obviously that's not good. I I don't want anyone to hurt yourself, you know. I want everyone to um, to, um, to to be very healthy. Oh oh, I got the wrong one. God damn it. Shurikans, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the, the dual blades, glaives, blades, glaives. It, it, it just feels amazing, it looks amazing, it's cool. It's very cool. Every Wednesday might be the buff. Yeah, but no, I've been, uh, I've been waiting for that for a few, for a few years. So I, I don't really, I don't wait anymore. <laughs> they, they never wanted to be better than the succession. And they never wanted to be even close. Like, like sometimes that happens by mistake. But uh, the, only one time it happened by mistake. It, it was close to succession. But then they, they kind of very... Uh, quickly adjusted that to not be the case anymore. And it's like, why? There's no reason why. For for the OG members of the stream, I've been I've been talking about Awakening Elan for years. That, like how they can buff it and how they can make it relevant again, like in PvP and in PvE. But but it's just never happening. It's never happening. Like it's never happened. They they change it uh, very rarely, in in combination with other classes, and usually the uh, the comparison with the other classes buffs and everything. That like the other classes just get better. 
and and obviously it falls behind even more than you know the, the thing that PA needs to do is uh, if you have a weak class and and then you have a strong class side by side if if you intend to buff both of them they need to buff the weak class more and it is one of the concepts that they don't seem to to understand <laughs> They have to buff the weaker class a little bit more because they, they want it to be similar in how good they are. M many times they don't do that. Many times they, uh, they buff the stronger class more than the weak class and it's like, okay. And, and that, can, that can piss me off many times, but um, it's because I love this class. I, I want them, but it's not the only. I want them to do that on all classes. I, I want them to do that on Kuno, like a Corsair, or all of the weak classes. You know, just buff them. And and then what they need to do with the with the broken, they, they just need to nerf them. But we uh, like like I said before, we we're not gonna see any of those changes in a long time. We they not they not really gonna nerf anything. If, if anything, they are going to try to buff a few more classes. But uh, they, they're not going to nerf anything. You know, it's kind of funny, like they said that they were not going to buff the Awakening Witch, but then they turned out to buff it anyway. It's like, why? <laughs> why? It, like, like it was already god tier, like it was already up there. Like, and, and then it's like, ah, we, we need to buff it a little bit more. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Like, like they literally said it in the blue post, like, we, we're not gonna touch the Awakening Witch. And and they say the same thing for, for Guardian and Vusa. Uh, Vusa they haven't really touched. But, but then they, they ended up buffing both the Guardian and the um, the Witch. Yeah. Oh my god. Just nerf the Witch and we're gonna back to Mummy Blades all. M Mummy Blades? No, but it, that's not that's not as simple as that anymore. It, it used to be pretty simple be, before they buffed every class in the game. It, it used to be very simple if they wanted to like balance the game. They they could have just nerfed Vusa, made a second apology video, nerfed Guardian, and nerfed the Awakening Witch, and and then they could have buffed seven classes maybe. Seven of the dog shit classes, they, they could, could have just buff them, and and then the the balance of PVE would have been glorious. It, it it couldn't really have been better. But the the result of them avoiding to uh, apologize, they 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 buffed every single class in the game. Like uh, not every single class, but they, they've been buffing a lot of classes and differently. Which means that it is only like throwing in, uh, throwing in more stats into a random pool of like. When when it comes to balancing, it just becomes like way worse. When whenever you do it that way, it's like you're saturating it. You you adding more to it when you don't need to. It's like you you salting your already salted food. You know. You, you don't need to do that. So you're gonna have to take away the salt now, like that is on the food, because you you did it too much, and and that's the nerf, right? Like you're gonna have to nerf it. The the other way is to make more food. They they're gonna have to make new content, but that that's what it means. So they they have to make new content and they make it harder. So the the new content they make it harder. So like oh we're trying to rebalance the game a little bit. They, they can also make more food, but that, that takes a little bit longer, it's a little bit more to do that, than to just take away a little bit of salt, you know? <laughs> Guardian should be nerfed, uh, 25k on Thornwood is uh, way too much. Yeah, I mean Thornwood by itself is... Um, 
the, the way that you do the mechanics, the, the way that they have uh, developed that, it, it's not good. Because it's a very... It, it's based on if you play a broken AoE class. That, that's how you can get them like the craziest of money. And, and how do you get it? You, you just stand still. You stand still and, and you press the random free AoE skills and, and you kill everything. So, a, a Thornwood is not only is not only the class that is broken. It's also like the, the grind spot is broken with the class. Uh, like it, it works together. So now, not only do they need to change the uh, the class, they also need to change uh, Thornwood, in my opinion. It, it's it's not good that you have to kill every single monster except for like one before they respawn again. And, and then they have them all being scattered out like that. So of course it's gonna benefit like the AoE classes. Me, me as an Awakened Elan, I have to go up to every single monster, like... Uh, that's not gonna be good. And, and then you have one guy that spins away or something, and it's like, oh, you have to kill that guy. <laughs> Start chasing after that dude. Um, yeah. I, I have a Thornwood video that I'm gonna be uploading very soon on the Awakening LAN. And, and you guys gonna see how good it is. Like... Oh no! No! Ah, I misclicked. It, it's not that good because of that reason, like, you, um, you... You can't have perfect pulling every single time, like... You, you forget to kill one guy, you forget to kill, like, the other guy spins away from you. You, uh, you just end up getting uh, very bad, um, very bad pulls. You can't hit. You don't have the AOE. You don't have the range. I can't hit the 20k with the succession, even with the 320 AP. Yeah, no. I mean, the the, the highest numbers that I heard with the succession line is 18.5 or something. And, and that makes sense. I I don't even get close to 18.5. I, I don't even know how much I get on the succession, like 17 or something. But, but the, the reason why I don't do that is because um, I, I don't wait for that perfect hour to record. But, like I go there, I, I do an hour, and I will see what happens, right? I, I try to do it my best and... I, I don't I don't pull the same like like that that one record breaking hour. Um, area, are you done with uh, your hour in seven minutes? Yeah, yeah, so we, we're done here in six, seven minutes, yeah. I, I forgot which one I need to kill here. And uh, we're getting close. We're getting close to that 30,000. Which is surprising. Oh my god. I, I don't want to do... I don't do this with the despair activated, so I do this without the despairs being activated and everything. And, and this, the, there has, the, there were no one grinding over here, that like I, I fucked it up. I guess, I guess I was grinding for like two minutes before I, before I noticed. So I guess it is a little bit polluted. <laughs> yeah, I, I was grinding my own uh, for for two minutes. I, I don't know how long the restart is though. We, we did like a five minute restart and. Yeah, 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 I, I want to know too. I want to know how much loot we get. After the hour, I, I mean, after after the stream, I'm gonna have to go through and see how much uh, money that that we made too. Uh, I mean, more. Um, we we can do it on Garmoth after the stream, but it's gonna be uh, some of the. Some of the numbers gonna be a little bit rough because um, I already have a few of the items in my inventory. Um, 
If, if you get like spirit dust, I'm most likely... I already have spirit dust in my inventory, for example. Maybe, maybe you don't get spirit dust here. Do you get spirit dust over here? Spawning a bunch of despairs. I mean, um, butchers. Yeah, 31.6 uh, using uh, only frenzy, not even uh, deep sea. I had no uh, back attack add on. Nice. With, with the awakened alarm. That number with the succession land. Did you uh, did you pre-record? I mean, did you uh, pre-activate the despair? I I have to write in my thumbnails, no despair. Just so people don't like, just so people know that I'm not activating the despair before the grind. A Marnie start? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess we do have Marnie, so like if, if all of the rotations are occupied one day, we can, can always do Marnie. Totally forgot about that. Did you play with the succession land or awakening land? failed a couple of uh, maybe like six I failed uh, six of these um, mechanics so I've been I've been hammering on the wrong dude but uh, that shouldn't do too much it's like a little bit uh, not the end of the world at the end of the world here the succession can do 35 plus yeah we're gonna see about that We'll see. We'll see what we can do. After after this hour, we play Succession. I I just need to put it into Garmoth and um, yeah, we we see. As soon as the buff run out here, we um, we done. Thirty seconds. Forty. Forty two. Forty two seconds. One more. Yeah, let's kill this guy. And then it's uh, and then it's over. It's over. 
fun is enough and it's over. Okay, cool. Good hour. Uh, where's my horse? Now we need to go... Oh, uh, no. Now we need to go to uh, the storage. To the storage. <clears throat> we, we can also pick up the... Um, the daily right here. Is there enough uh, loot scroll? Pick up the daily. Ah, fuck it. We, we pick it up later. We need to uh, we need to play the succession here too. Two AP from three oh one. Hey, Simbe. Let's go. More than guardian. <laughs> that would be surprising if it did more than guardian, but yeah, I I think I think like. Many times, if you can play a class uh, giga good, you can do better than a lot of people. So many times it definitely depends on um, who is making the recording. And because of this reason, I want to mention this too, which is a very, very good thing to say to you viewers. If, if you guys want to compare numbers, you should usually compare... Um, Either you compare the best with the best, you know, like Quenja, Lua, Luni, etc, etc. Or you compare the same guy with the same guy, but then you also have into account that they might not be able to play the class perfectly like they can with the main. So, so like me, for example, like I play Lan, Awakening and Succession, I can play very, very good. Uh, but then if I were to do something on Scholar, it's going to be a little bit like... <laughs> uh, we got 29,952. Oh. That's a little bit annoying that it wasn't 30k. 